Hi everyone, this is WebOS Roundup. Today we're going west. I'm reviewing Oregon Trail by Gameloft. This game costs $5.99 on the app catalog. This game has been around literally since 1971 in various forms. It is a classic by most standards. The goal of the game is to simply get your family uh, west all the way to Oregon. I think you're traveling 2,600 miles in a covered wagon. What it boils down to really is it's a kind of a choose your own adventure RPG. It's very simple, but uh, there's a lot of little mini games that are fun. When you first start out, you choose your type of wagon you want, which I have the big comfort model. You also choose the class that daddy is here. Um, I'm a banker. You can also be a farmer, and you can also be a carpenter. Each of them have their own uh, benefits for that. The bankers are rich. And they choose the different wagons. You can have a uh, big cushy one. You can have an armored one, which lasts longer, or you can get a fast one, I believe. You can see up here we have the health of our wagon, and consequently our family. Over here we also have our food, rationing as it were. Over here is how many miles to the nearest town and this is how much money we have. There's a lot of mini games you can play. The postal service there is kind of a Simon game from the old days. You have the general store where you can buy upgrades. We can go there real quick, show you what that looks like. You uh, can choose different things like here's some canteens you can buy that give you more water. You can get uh, better oxen that give, make them faster, stuff like that. You can buy, reef, supply yourself, all those good things. We'll go back out of the town. Once you get started, we'll exit the town here real quick. Once you get started, you go back on the trail. And again, you're going west, always. And you get to choose which way you go. There are lots of different paths you can take. We're going to South Lake Cutoff here. But you can see here's a map. You can see I went the bottom path, but there are lots of different things. And each one of them has its own um, challenges and different opportunities. You can see back here, if we back up, we have a quest log. These are all the quests that I have. Currently I don't have any that are um, I haven't done yet. I failed the meeting the Mormons in, in Salt Lake City there. You can scroll up here to uh, view your different quests. I've got four pages worth. But they're usually meeting someone, taking someone uh, an item, stuff like that. Very simple, but uh, you know, interesting, makes things um, a little bit more diverse. You can see we can move things around here. i got 12 miles to go. You can choose your speed. The faster you go, the more damage you'll do to your family, as it were. You can break legs and get dysentery and all that good stuff. Um, you see here I've got a, the day that I've been going on here and as the days move on I'll use food up sometimes I'll get damaged and there's lots of little mini games that can happen depending on what's going on we're gonna speed up here you see everybody's getting all excited and here is what I consider one of the funnier moments the Eagles are so majestic I love this part and I tells me to tap it and now we shoot him that's how majestic they are first time I saw that I laughed out loud so I did. I, I was caught off guard by that. Can you see your son's making a little snide comment there? And now we're moving again. You can change your speed. Sometimes you'll have to slow down because there's some sort of uh, obstacle in the way. Here I am making it to a town. Yeehaw! It's saved right there. And this guy's going to give you some advice. He's always with you even though you never see him. I'll show you how this is doing. Continue on the trail and you can pause it here and go to the main menu resume some sound stuff like that the couple of problems i've had with this game are one is the saves they don't happen very often so if you had to leave for some reason then um, you'd have to redo around several minutes worth up to nothing crazy but I, I, that would be something that i should be able to save anywhere in my opinion and the other one which is a much bigger deal is just like asphalt 5 this game crashes. It crashes pretty regularly. The way to get around it for the most part is to uh, reboot right before you want to play it. So I had done this. Um, I rebooted right before this review so I'm not too worried about it. But if I would uh, turn it off, turn my phone off and wander off and come back it probably would crash. And so it's just there's something about these games that are not very stable. I know they will be fixed at some point but that really does make things difficult. If you look on the Twitterverse, you can see a lot of people are experiencing this, so keep that in mind. This is a fun game. I do enjoy it. It is something a little different. If you're looking for something more action-y, then you're probably not going to enjoy this. This game is basically a lot of mini-games, and uh, they're 
there's enough of them that they're they're simple, but there's a nice variety, so it is fun. I did I have enjoyed this. Um, I do think they need to fix that crashing problem. I can't really wholeheartedly recommend it until they do. But uh, if you're looking for something a little different, uh, it's not a, not a bad little game. This has been WebOS Roundup. Please visit us at webosroundup.com. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.